Hi, this is Chris of Wilson One Life Sculpture, and this is uh, finishing a Elf Owl in Golden Eagle Part Two. I had to find my brushes for uh, for the second part. I since I dyed the wood bases uh, for the owl and eagle, I am applying oil, and I think I'm getting some interesting effects. You can see here, um, the dye adds more contrast. I haven't done the eagle yet but I'm gonna demonstrate applying a little bit more of the, the oil here. And since I've gone back and textured this walnut, it gives a lot more character and pizzazz to the piece, I think. And the texture is absorbing into the, the wood. So I'm going to show a little closer ups here of the work. Move this a little closer. So you can see the detail. Okay, I like the wood, and uh, I like this little owl, but it just needed something than just smooth base that was like, it looked like a, it's supposed to be a cactus, but it, it's very interpretive. Actually, I had realistic cacti coming out of this, this hole in the top here, but it was overwhelming the entire piece. So you gotta make modifications to your work, and I've got upcoming show, and so this is the time to try to get my work looking its best. Try to show more process here. Being careful not to get the oil on the bird or the feet. I switched to a smaller brush that I couldn't find in the first video. So sorry about that for the abrupt ending. But um, I want to show you know various techniques of, of carving the birds, creating the compositions, finishing the bases. Um, and I do that throughout my videos. Here's the eagle base. I'm going to apply a little bit of oil to it. This is mainly sap wood here, but I want to put a little bit. And it doesn't hurt to put more Danish oil over a piece um, because you, it, it, look, it freshens it up. And I got a show coming up um, next weekend, uh, this coming weekend. So. I'm working hard trying to finish everything, making things look good. And I, I love showing the beauty of the, of natural wood juxtaposition against the a painted surface showing um, realism. Which, and this is all carved from one piece of wood, as is the golden eagle. And there's the golden eagle. Okay, but I want to finish its base. So I dyed some of these crevices. I'm gonna put oil right over it. We're supposed to wait, but you know what? It actually works because I don't have it saturated with, with much dye. Um, you can add water-based things over oil or oil-based over water um, if it's not too watery. I do the same thing with oil paints. I will paint with oils over, with acrylics over oils and vice versa. Just for the effect and the sheen that you want. So, okay, I made it pretty dark there. I'm not sure about that much contrast. I mean, that, well, actually it looks good. It was a little too light before. Let me show you. Re-oil the base. It's a little bit more formal, but I, I carved some texture in there. It's also walnut with some sapwood. Let me give a little more oil there. And this back part of it, I did add a little dye in the grooves. And I want to, to emphasize that S curve that I put in there because the branch has S curves. And occasionally I'll work on a couple pieces at a time. What I'm doing is just soaking the wood so it takes lots of oil. And it's gonna look fresh and really, uh, really pop. I'm gonna take the owl off here in a second here because I don't wanna get oil on the bird. But I am finishing the eagle now. Um, even the bottom of the base, this is a piece of cedar wood. So I'm going to put a little there to darken it. Darken parts of it. Not, not the whole thing. I actually painted the branch because I didn't want, I didn't want the, the bird to be the same color as the branch. Too many gold colors in the golden eagle. See, there's the golden eagle. 
I'll, I'll show it in better light here in a second. So let's see how it looks on its base. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna add a little oil in the end grain because the end grain always soaks up lots of, lots of oil. And the more oil you have on it, the, the more better it looks, it looks rich. Okay, so let's put it on here. It can actually go either way. I can put it in this way, like that. Oops, I give me back up so you can see. that way or it can be turned around this other way um, with square tubing like this so tell me what you like better in the comments below okay that's the other way so uh, anyway I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, the finish here I, I like the dyed effect um, okay I'll show you that again here on the base Okay, because I dyed some areas black, it just looks more informal, it kind of looks like ground. Uh, it just looks more interesting that it was all polished. The wood already had some bark inclusions in this void, um, and I, I like that. Because it's not all perfect and looking like a trophy. Okay, because these aren't taxidermy mounts. These birds are carved in wood. In fact, let me show you up close. I make it so it can come apart like this. It's all carved in tupelo wood with glass eyes. I made the feet out of metal. There's a metal pen. That's how it's penned in. This is painted with acrylics and oils. But it's time to put him aside so that I can finish the base. So I really appreciate you following me here at Wilson Life Sculpture. And uh, stay tuned to see the finished sculptures. Watch the first part so you can see how I, I dye it. And the, the last part will be just, uh, I'll show them how they look finished. Thanks a lot for following me. Have a great day.